Okay, it's time for some Yahoo Fantasy and Auto Racing. We're going to take a look at the Tucson Racing Group and how things shook out after the Crown Royal presents the Heath Calhoun 400, which was held at the Richmond International Raceway. Saturday night short track racing under the lights on the three-quarter mile uh, oval. And let's take a look at how things shook out. Kyle Busch actually wound up winning the race. And a great race uh, was had by all for sure. Kyle Busch definitely dominated the race. and Jeff Gordon looked like he might take the win there at the end, but... Kyle was able to take it back with uh, under 10 laps to go on a restart, as it seems every race seems to end nowadays. Uh, taking a look at the actual standings uh, for the race, it looks like Handsome actually wound up winning the race. High White and Handsome took home 321 points this week. Very good score for sure. One taking a 23-point victory over Woe with 298 points. Uh, looks like the big difference there was uh, the C group. There's a 10-position difference between... Uh, A.J. Allmendinger and Paul Menard. Uh, Hanson went with Allmendinger and Woe went with Menard. And a 10 spot difference wound up being pretty much the difference in the points. The other drivers for both guys were top 12. So uh, definitely a strong showing. Hanson was able to get second and third in the race. So very high scores. Uh, third this week went to the Wall. Always wins. Had 275 points. 46 points out of first. Uh, had two drivers in the top 10. Had a 19th place from one of the B drivers. And a 28th place showing out of Robbie Gordon, which is actually pretty good for Robbie Gordon, but unfortunately wasn't very good for the, the C group overall. Uh, looks like fourth place this week went to Oh No, a blowout. Missed third by just two points, 48 points out of first. Uh, for that team, uh, three drivers in the top 13, and then uh, 27th place for the C driver, so uh, Paul Menard, that is. So. Uh, definitely stayed in touch with the uh, group, and then rounding out the top five was Team Edwards, the driver, 270 points. So just five points separated third from fifth, and uh, looks like similar stories there for those three people. Uh, they all put people in the top 13, um, but yeah, that C group kind of bogged them down from keeping pace with the top two this week. And looking at the bottom four this week, Lightning McQueen uh, had a very interesting week. Uh, picked the winner, Kyle Busch was the only person to pick the winner this week, but Dale Earnhardt Jr. was on the B list for McQueen and didn't do anything this week. Had a very rough showing, one of 32nd by races in. So only one driver in the top 10 this week for Lightning McQueen. Definitely drops a little bit in the standings. 67 points out of first when things shook out. Looking at 7th place, that went to Hulk Smash. Hulk is kind of on a slide the last few weeks. 245 points this week, so 9 points out of 6th, but 76 back overall. Had three drivers in the top 20, but picked Scott Speed in Group C. And group C is always difficult to pick up points anyway, but 35th, definitely the worst of the C drivers this week, and he was the only one to pick Scott Speed, so definitely suffered there. Greek Thunder won up 226 points, 95 out of first. Another rough week for Greek Thunder. Highest finishing driver was 13th place, so uh, not a whole lot of points picked up. Started Greg Biffle in Group A, 22nd for Greg Biffle this week. It was pretty much a non-factor throughout the entire race, so very disappointing showing out of Group A. Usually leads to a pretty low score. And then wrapping up the group this week was uh, Stuart Sucks Kane Rules, which wound up with 106 points uh, because it didn't set the team. Uh, we got drivers in Groups A and C to score this week. Didn't make any changes to Group B and had already used up B drivers. Uh, or her, her B drivers, uh, nine starts already, so no points scored there whatsoever. Had 106 points total and lost 215 points to Highway and Handsome just this week. So definitely a huge hole now that Kane Rules is going to have to build out of. Uh, taking a look at the overall standings, Highway and Handsome, it's fourth victory now, uh, has 2,833 points, and uh, now leads by 111 over Oh No, a blowout. Well, it's still keep in touch with the leader there, but has about a 100-point gap uh, in front of him and about a 100-point gap behind him back to Lightning McQueen. Actually, exactly 100 points. 211 out of first for Lightning McQueen, who's holding on to third despite slipping a little bit this week. Fourth place is the wall always wins. Uh, it's, it's respectable 259 out uh, first right now. Still keep in touch with McQueen and uh, put a little bit of difference between him and uh, fifth place Hulk Smash, who's now 300 points out of first. Again, 26 races to go in the season, so plenty of time to make up ground and really not that far behind considering where we're at right now. Uh, Team Edwards drivers currently sitting sixth, 342 out of first, so only 42 out of the top five. But it'd be a big move for Team Edwards. It's definitely improved over last season's performance as uh, Woe, a left turn, is only 433 out of first, considering missing the first race of the season entirely. 
That's a pretty respectable score. And already leapfrogging the two people who haven't been keeping up. So definitely doing what he's got to do to keep touch with the leaders and maybe even overcome the fact that he didn't score any points at all week one. Uh, eighth place right now, Greek Thunder, 549 out of first, uh, over 100 points out of seventh. So Greek's definitely slipping in the standings. Um, and then wrapping up the field, obviously, Kane Rules started every race this year, but is already losing to two teams that missed the first race. So uh, definitely disappointing start to the season. Ten races in for Kane Rules, and uh, setting that lineup is definitely going to be uh, detrimental to trying to score points as the season goes on. Now 646 out of first, and uh, just under 100 points out of eighth place overall. So uh, definitely a rough week again for Kane Rules. Uh, looks like next week we're going to be heading to the Darlington Raceway. Uh, looks like the driver pool for your starters and bench locks Friday at 2 a.m. So you want to make sure you have at least the, the eight guys that you want in uh, by Friday at 2 a.m. And then your actual picks for the race, the starters versus bench locks, Saturday, 4.45 p.m. Remember, it's going to be a Saturday night start again, so you're going to want to make sure you get your lineup set early there. And uh, Darlington Raceway should be a great race. And uh, the, from the Vanilla Thunder Studios, this has been Eric. You guys have a great night.